Well, under these clear skies, you're going to be dealing with more tricks and treats today because the nice weather is probably the only highlight of today because tonight these temperatures are going to get so cold it might cut some of that trick-or-treating a little early as we drop down below that freezing point into those lower 20s. Now, this high pressure that's going to be sticking with us over the next couple days is going to what's help, going to help us warm up into those 80s, but it's also going to release a lot of heat that helps us drop back down into these 30s and colder temperatures throughout the rest of the week. Now, right now we're looking at those temperatures across the Concho Valley and we're hanging out at 57 here in San Angelo. Everybody else joining us in those upper 50s and getting a good idea of those shades of green across the entire region where we're seeing everybody pretty much under that uniform cooling and heating right now. And as we make our way into those overnight hours, we're going to get a good idea of just how fast we're going to cool off with some of these colder temperatures continue to push their way across the entire nation. Now, we're seeing a bit of this warming trend as that high pressure starts to make its way in and that cold air starts to diffuse and continue to push off east. We're seeing those colder temperatures still up in Detroit and Minneapolis. A lot of these snowstorms are what they're calling a clipper storm making its way over that region, canceling Halloween up there due to a lot of the snow making its way into that area, giving us a good idea of some of the intensity of these storms as they continue to make their way off east. But to the south, we're still watching these colder temperatures take over Florida but feeling those warmer temperatures here in Texas now the upper level pattern we're kind of dealing with a post frontal if I will as you continue to watch this long wave trough push off to the east this ridging that's gonna build in from the west that's what's gonna warm us up and then we're dealing with a minor wave trough that could cool us off gradually as we begin that second week of November but we are watching the west coast as we're seeing a pretty strong storm make its way in from the west that could be our next big plunge in temperatures now we are dealing with that cold dry air that's really pushing all the way down but you see it start to come back into the nation, at least off the south coast, that's going to let us know that we're seeing a lot more of that warm moist air make its return as we start to push our way gently back up into those 80s. Not nearly as aggressive or weather extremes that we've been dealing with over the past year, but still a pretty significant spread when you're talking about dropping down to those 20s tonight. That's about a 40 degree spread. Clear skies across the entire nation for this Halloween except for parts of Michigan, and then we get a closer look at Texas watching that northerly flow really push those clouds to the south, clearing up the entire state as well as the Concho Valley. Now those colder temperatures going to be settling in well into tonight, getting a good idea of how this is going to happen throughout the rest of the day. Cold, clear, calm throughout the entire state of Texas and really across the entire nation, watching little bits of storms push their way into a little bit of cloud cover, but really not going to cause anything well into the weekend where we're going to start pushing into those 80s before we do begin that gentle cool down. So let's get a good idea of the trick-or-treating uh, layout as we make our way into those colder hours. We're going to see around uh, 7 p.m. We're cooling down into those 50s. And of course, as we make our way towards 11, we're down into those 40s. But I'll be honest with you, I might be done around after the 10 o'clock personally. Just too cold for me. More of these warmer temperatures where we're dealing with the summer than tonight. Still dropping down into those upper 20s, 28 degrees. Remember, plants, people, pets, pipes. Let's be safe. Then tomorrow, a little bit warmer, dealing with those 60s. Then we drop back down into those colder temperatures, probably those 30s. Then we're going to continue to gradually warm up as we begin that first week of November. And we're really back up into those 70s and gradually back up into those 80s. Look at those lows, about 30 degrees apart from those highs. And then by the beginning of next week, we start to see those temperatures gradually drop back down into the 70s while those lows are back down into those 40s. Stay tuned. We'll more after the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5.